Hello, Anne Murphy here from Shop Smart Eat Well. I thought I'd just pop in quickly and um, let you know a little tip that I do that keeps me well on track with my budget. Um, I'm just about to share um, my grocery haul video with you of what I've just picked up. So last night I did my online click and collect order with Coles and my budget is $150 for the fortnight so I always like to try to stick to $120 on this click and collect order, $130 at the, at the very most, which leaves me $20 for the second week which I can use to buy milk or bread or fruit or anything like that that we might run out of before my next shop. So what I do is um, I have my list and I include everything on my list. I watch the total and I watch the total going up and I, if it's over the $130, I go through what I've um, selected and ask myself, can I do without this for another one to two weeks? And I did have laundry powder on my list and um, I do have enough for another um, two weeks, so that came off. I had selected some Parmesan cheese, for example, which was a bit of a luxury item. It just adds a nice flavour to a lot of the dishes that I make, and I took that off. Um, there was pumpkin, I think, and I took that off because we can just get by with so much else. So um, it actually reduced. I was up to about 132 with all the meat and everything that I bought. So um, by the time I took those few things off, I was down to um, my around my $120 mark and I'll show you now what I bought. So this is what I got in my grocery haul um, for this fortnight. Back to school, so back to school lunches and um, a bit of fruit. In saying that, um, the fruit in the lunchbox is really only a token piece of fruit. Um, my children aren't the biggest fruit eaters, so um, my son and I have a fruit smoothie every morning, and um, I put at least two serves of fruit in that for us with um, Greek yogurt, water, and a tiny bit of unsweetened maple syrup, which I picked up today. Um, so the fruit is really for smoothies, and lunches for me and my husband and um, it can be grapes or kiwi fruit or something like that so anyway this is what I bought now these are the bag of um, I'm perfect um, carrots which is a one and a half kilos and they work out slightly cheaper than um, the normal Coles carrots so um, I've never had a problem with them they they just might have a like a cut in them or something but they're all perfect Two sweet potato, grapes, bananas for smoothies, the big three litre bottle of tomato sauce, a barbecue sauce, sorry, that my husband goes through so much. Um, Self-raising flour, three of the two litre long life milk because it's slightly cheaper than the Coles home brand milk. Half a papaya for smoothies, lots of tomatoes, I think I only asked for four but they've gave me given me extra but they were pretty cheap um this is the cheapest potatoes two kilos of potatoes half a pineapple now you're probably thinking well um why buy a half when it's cheaper to buy a whole i think because we're only a small family and these are used for smoothies um if i was to buy a whole pineapple or a whole papaya or a whole cabbage we'd just be eating it for weeks so I find that it just creates a, a lot more variety for us just buying a half and we're talking about 50 cents to a dollar um, maybe two dollars sometimes buying it whole compared to buying halves so um, that's just a small little luxury that I do to um, just to create some variety it's out of curry powder sweet chili sauce um, the unsweetened maple syrup two loaves of bread for school lunches two packets of pasta the Sensodyne toothpaste, which was um, on special, it's normally around seven, eight dollars, but it was on special for five. Um, quite a few bags of frozen vegetables. I don't mind the frozen vegetables, my husband and I. The kids don't like them, so again, they're just um, they will eat some of them. And I find per kilo they are quite good in comparison 
too fresh and they stay frozen forever. Um, the normal frozen um, chips that we have on those cheap and easy nights, kilo block cheese. It's amazing how much you miss cheese when you don't have it in the house. Uh, just a bottle of cordial. Some twisties for um, school lunches. Now, it was way cheaper to buy this big party bag um, compared to the little individual bags, a uh, bag, uh, box of 20. So I'll bag them up now into little bags for um, school lunches and hide them from my son so he doesn't um, see them. I get grated cheese as well. Um, Hungarian salami for pizzas and different dishes. Ham. I know this is a lot um, more expensive to buy ham per kilo this way, but it goes straight into the freezer. I cut out my little um, section for the um, couple of days or make up the whole lot of sandwiches for my son in one lot and it can last the two weeks. Sausages, chicken breasts, beef mince and frozen chicken. And I think that's about it. So check out how much all that came to on the next slide. Thank you.